I do. Just show briefly too, there's your other vacuum okay. port obviously. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, as far as the tanks are concerned, uh, this is your clean water tank. Uh, generally it's chemical free thanks to antifreeze being in there, that's why it's colored. Uh, this is your recovery tank. It has a 5 micron bag filter for discharge. You want to keep an eye on that because that filter is fine between 50 and 5 micron filter. That media is extremely heavy, really heavy. Yeah. And uh, if you go too, too long and it's not pumping and transferring, you so could actually break that. That will back. basically eliminate that canister that you normally hook up in? Or no, I think the can that little canister is probably still inside the lid. No, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking oh. about the inline basket. Oh, if you have that clear one or something, yeah, you, have, you know, it's not bad utilizing that because if you have uh, sand or debris like the carpet cleaning yeah. that have those, Good to keep an eye on what's going on. So any pre-filtering you can utilize. Okay. I would I would still We've incorporate that. We've got a couple that. extra ones, and I you know I could you know splice it in there somewhere and use it. The, the ones we have have metal have a metal filter in it, and I mean the holes are holes are you know they're pretty big, but it's good leaf catcher and that kind of exactly. stuff. I would absolutely say, hey, anything you can yeah. do ahead. As long of time. as it's a nice tight seal, because you right. said any leak. I was just going to say, it, if you do take any of this apart, uh, that's fine. Uh, just make sure you re-silicone it. Uh, it's amazing how much better, how much better back and draw you get off of that. Silicone the other one. Yes. Yeah. We've got one of these units on the back. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as that. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. So we're familiar. So, so, it's so you got your basket, basket filter, and yeah. you know the floats inside and yeah. everything. Okay. The one big difference that you're going to find between ours and yours, your drain is right here. Okay. Um, so when you drain the sludge off. The reason why we did this is that you don't have to try and catch it on the dot. Nice. You can drain it right to the edge. Um, of course, you do have two power switches. Uh, one is a transfer pump switch, one is the vacuum switch itself. Um, and then in the center you have the breaker, uh, the reset. Um, you still have your 50 and your 30? 20. 20. I always got that wrong. Um, Inline filters. I, I don't and there's a the pressure gauge on the front too, so you have that too? Yep. Just keep an eye on the gauge. Yep. And um, one thing that Terry specifically asked for, which for the record was standard, I told him that it wasn't at first, but then I learned it is. Uh, this is a hose hookup. So if you do not want to recover into your tank and you just want to discharge, yep. the right landscape. Right on. Yep, landscape. It all depends on where we're at, where our compliance is. I know there's some places where we go that we'll probably have to transport the stuff out of there. Well, yeah. He, he called me and asked me, he was like, can we do that? And I was like, uh, I don't know, because it was after our design meeting. I was like, I don't know if they're going to let me change it. And then it turns out this is standard. So yeah. I got to look like Well, we room. normally pump out the landscape. We rarely, you know, Well, this kind of filtration, you should be good about yeah. on that in general. Um, this is the filter wrench for it. Um, Don't lose it. It'll go back <laughs> in your spare parts box. Okay. Um, generally, we just hook it on something. But uh, what is that for? It's to change. It's oh, to change the filter. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. I, I remember seeing one on the other one. You can put it on. Any idea? I like leaving it on the latch. Pull the latch. Yeah. Oh. You pick that up. A lot of times. Oh, okay. it works for us. Absolutely. And then you know it's there yeah, all the time. Always there. Perfect. If you do suddenly lose vacuum power and everything appears to be working normally, as in the vacuum is still running, uh, do check your filters. Um, I can tell you from experience, I plug them myself. Um, when they clog, nothing will move. Yeah. Um, well, basically what happens is water backs up, kicks the float off. How about troubleshooting for uh, when the pump out won't kick on? Um, that can be a clog canister. Uh, that can be the mercury on. switch itself for the float switch. Okay. Um, the other thing it could be, you know, since that too. suction line off the transfer pump is at the top of the V, the cone-shaped tank on the yeah. bottom. It's so much sludge and debris it's overflowing that it'll plug the line. Well, a lot of time you can hear the transfer pump running, but it's not pumping. I had a guy do that when he was doing, we also put these systems out on other equipment. So he just basically came up, drained the tank, plop, 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 you know, all the thick crap that's on there. And from there, which is there, the discharge, um, 
once it free float, all of a sudden I hear them going, mm, and all of a sudden I go, that oh, works, huh? All you had to do is drain <laughs> off your uh, sediment tank. Just but clean it up a little yeah, bit, pretty much. Yeah, exactly there's also nice. a breaker, so if you do max out like blind, say you went and neglected that tank, and it, you did have enough slurry and sludge get into it, and you plugged your 50 micron filter, you normally see on the pressure gauge it higher than normal. Okay. And at that point, uh, you know, you have to replace the filters and all that. But you can also manually reach in and, and activate the float in order to get the transfer pump to work. The black one is your 12 volt pump. And uh, sometimes if you shut the machine down um, and then shut the burner off in mid cycle, like it was still pumping, um, out, then it's kind of stuck in that limbo mark. When you go to restart it, you may actually have, have to physically drop it down and come back up. You may have to reset the float manually because it just doesn't, it, you kind of cut it off in mid cycle so it, it may not kick back on to finish transferring the water. So that little black float, if it, just a quick little flick up and down, okay. could be all you need. That's probably the problem with the probe. Yeah. And you can always call us. Yeah. We're having issues with the other ones. And I, I think that, that sounds. Exactly yeah. like what's going on in the other one just needs to be cleaned out. Well, if cleaned you just out, hear it, just let it run through. through again, but it seems to be a regular we problem. Need to reset it's just, it. Yeah, it just keeps happening. So. Well, keep check, keep draining, draining, draining. That's the number one key. Like you said about blowing everything off so you're not sucking up debris. And then, uh, majority of times, just that drain is the number one culprit because the more you can drain off the heavier solid, the less you're going to plug your 50 micron, the less likely you're going to plug the suction hose well, that's on those top. to be changed out? I mean, the filters? Yeah. Uh, you can ruin them like I did in about 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> or they like, go well, wild. Uh, really? To be fair, we were washing really, really dirty trash cans on the front wheel of the but... It really depends, yeah. So they're expensive. Uh, no, actually, uh, a, a, a kit would include like three of the 50 micron filters, 220, which are large filters, and two bag filters, and they're probably under 200 bucks. Really? Oh, that's not bad. So you end up getting like seven filters all together. Okay. So do we have any, or do will we have any backups? I don't know. If I don't think filters. I don't see any, but I do recommend. I think I'll make that investment new, before you roll out. Sure, what was included and what wasn't included. Uh, honestly, we'll those, probably be interested in picking up. Okay, we can well. get you some. It's not a big deal. Um, one nice thing about that drain being extended, just before I forget to tell you, uh, we made this clear so that you can see crap starting to build up in there. Okay. Um, nice, nice. It also increases your capacity slightly for the sludge to collect in. Um, we also put cam lock fittings on everything. Um, what you would do is if you want to drain it off, um, you can hook the other side of the cam lock fitting with the hose on it right up to that and drain it into a bucket or whatever. They tuck it? I don't see it. No. Uh, you might have been short of the cam lock hose, so I'll have to get you one. I'll make sure you get one. With me being new, it's just, it's... You're doing great. Absolutely. Um, until this morning, I honestly didn't know that your surface cleaners weren't assembled, so... Oh. Yeah, I had to scramble to get those. Don't make me retract that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Friday afternoon I was like, are those still in a box? Uh-oh.